given the choice, you know, I believe very strongly that uh, players would prefer to bet on regulated sites because there's oversight. They have protection. They have transparency. They know who they're dealing with. If something goes wrong, they've got somebody they can reach out to, not just an anonymous offshore group. They can't complain to a, a gaming regulator from Curacao. Who are you going to complain to? There, there is no, they won't take any complaints. You don't have to worry about your accounts being frozen because Jordacom <laughs> Esports Emporium out in <laughs> Europe somewhere got shut down and you are and you get caught up in it. Uh, now it just makes sense to be on, on buy, right? A- absolutely. So we, we expect to get uh, quite substantial uh, interest. Also, you know, New Jersey, it's not just because every New Jersey is a, you know, very passionate gambler. That's not the case. New Jersey strategically, geographically, is so closely located to New York and you know Pennsylvania, of course. And these licenses in the states are geocentric. So you don't have to be a resident of New Jersey. You just have to be in New Jersey when you're placing that wager. And, and for those people who are listening, I, it's really quite something to see to go down to Penn Station on a game day and watch uh, literally hundreds, if not thousands of people get off the trains in, in New Jersey, place their bets on their phones. Well, I didn't realize that's what they do. So people actually <laughs> travel it just over the border to New Jersey to make Absolutely. these. Absolutely. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.